Hello! Today I want to share with you a handy trick for getting past an obstacle in Power BI. Something that you may have noticed if you're used to reporting from SharePoint or Project Online is that carriage returns, line breaks, are not uh, permitted or not recognized in a table or in a matrix. As you can see here, in our environment, we are using a plus sign as a delimiter so that for a particular long text field visualizations, we can insert line breaks there so that we can get past that obstacle. However, that's not available to you in a table, so what's going to happen is this data is going to come through as a big blob of a paragraph that's not going to be particularly easy on the eyes. So if we switched here to um, my transform data, my Power Query Editor portion of Power BI, what I have done is I've selected the project's status description, the field where that data resides, and I am splitting it into columns. So you have a capability here. You, if you select this column, there's a split column. You can also see it when you right click here, split column by delimiter. You may be used to that in Excel. It's also available here in Power BI. If we go to the split comma by delimiter step here, you can see that I'm using the plus sign. I'm splitting it at each occurrence of the delimiter. And I did have to expand advanced options that is collapsed by default. But if you expand it, you want to switch it to rows change your quote character, which also will default to the quote to none, and then you can click OK. What this will do is it will create one row for each of those delimited items in the description. Okay, project is going well, the team has applied to the Agile methods, found their rhythm, met planned velocity for the last three sprints, all for this electronic asset tracking update. Now if we close and apply this, you're going to see it's going to carry through to this matrix, which I've already set up here. The only nuance that will happen, and see, this is pretty great. I happen to have this in one that is uh, got alternating rows, just so it's easier to see. You could eliminate that. You could also have another character here and not delimit by that additional character, so that if you did want to have a plus sign and then a dash, so those look sort of like bullets here, you could then just see the dash. The plus sign would still act as a delimiter. There you have it. Good luck.